Hi everyone, it's Dr. Dan again. So I have another uh, video to kind of show you how to use Fusion 360 for circuits design and simulation. So we've done a couple simple things. Uh, now we want to step into the world of using some um, active components. So we're going to make a circuit with an op amp. So let's go ahead and do a, a new electronics design. And I'm going to, again, just save this first. I'll call this uh, active filter. Or I'll just call it op amp because I'm just going to do an amp. Okay, again, follow the same procedure before, create a new schematic. And now I just want to add parts. And so I'm going to make just an amplifier, an op amp and an amplifying configuration to show you how we can simulate and then build this. Again, we're going to use the parts library. Um, so we're going to base it around the op amp. And again, I already have this stuff built in where we have a through hole op amp model that we're going to use. Uh, so we're, most of the time, the circuits we're building are going to be inverting amplifiers. And so it's this cur current orientation, um, the way I've drawn them in class everything, the minus sign is on top. And so we probably want to, I can right click to kind of rotate, but I can't really get it in configuration where the minus sign's on top. So I can go over here and mirror it, right? And so that mirrors it. And now if I rotate it, okay, now I can get the minus sign on top in that orientation that we're kind of used to. So I'll click right there, hit OK. And as I said, we're just going to do a, um, a simple amp. So I'm going to use two resistors, right? One feedback resistor and one resistor going in. So I'll get the resistors for that. I'm going to place one here and one here. Hit OK. And now I need to add my uh, ground. Which is going to go on the positive input of the op amp. And finally, we need to get our signal. Okay, and so when we're doing uh, an op amp circuit for real, um, like on a circuit board, like for instance, we're trying to get in a bio signal we want to amplify, right? Like we don't actually have that signal. Um, so on our circuit board, that might come in the form of like a pin that you plug in your transducer into or something like that. Um, but for this, for the simulation, we can use, um, in the NG Spice world, these arbitrary voltage sources. So I have this voltage thing. It's not actually, you saw it didn't actually have a 3D model associated with it, but it does, it produces our vo voltage. And so I'm going to put a voltage source there, which is going to be the source that we're going to send into the op, op amp. The other thing we need to do is power our op amp um, with, you know, our positive power and negative power. And that's pretty easy to do. Um, you know, we just have to make sure that, uh, again, we're setting this up. We could go ahead and put in like some nine volt batteries or something like we would do in lab. But for us, when we're doing this simulation, um, we just need to provide it the, the voltages. I actually don't think we actually need to provide voltages for simulation, but I'm gonna put them in there just so we make sure we hook everything up right anyway. So I'm going to have one power on this side and one power source on this side for our simulation purposes. Okay, now we just need to connect everything together. And so what we're going to do first is take our source that we want to see, go through this resistor, and then that's going to go into our negative output of the op amp. And of course we have our feedback resistor, which is going to come from the output of the op amp, and then it's going to come back on the input side. All right, we know we have the non-inverting input is going to go straight to ground for this configuration. And then we're going to put the other side of the, the source voltage to ground as well. Okay, so we've pretty much set up that simple op amp circuit. Like I said, we can go ahead and supply uh, voltage here. Um, this is has VDD and VSS as the pins. Um, so just that's you know, the convention they use. Um, in this case, the VDD is the positive. It's hooked up to pin seven of the physical op amp. So we're going to give it a positive voltage from this source. Uh, the VSS is negative. Um, and so we're going to give it the negative voltage from this other source. And then just remember that we need to set um, the ground in between these two, right? So I'm going to go ahead and insert another ground symbol over here so I don't have to stretch all the way back to this ground, which is totally fine. You can have multiple ground symbols in your circuit. 
and I'm going to connect the other ends of these to the ground. Okay, we're pretty much set up. Uh, the other thing I do, well, I want to look at where we're providing or what our output voltage is. So I'm going to put a voltage probe in here at the output. Right, that's what we want to measure. We want to see what that voltage is. Um, we're going to provide the voltage in, so that's not that important. Um, the other thing, just just for kicks for this uh, simulation purposes, I'm going to make I'm going to go ahead and look at our voltage in to our op amp powering our op amp just to make sure that we're working. So I'm going to put a voltage probe here. There we go. Just to make sure we're powering the op amp with our correct what we expect. Okay, then we go on in here. These two sources are just simulating 9 volt batteries. So we can, uh, I can right click and do analog source setup, you know, 9 volt DC. And on this one as well, 9 volt DC. And then we want to think what we're going to have for our uh, input. And so this is where we're just going to use a, a simple input. So this is just an amplifier, so I could just give it a, a DC voltage um, and watch it amplify. I might as well do AC value. We'll do like, I'll do two volts here. I also set up a transient function, just in case we want to use a transient function. Um, right, so amplitude two volts, frequency one volt, or one, uh, one hertz. Okay, so that is our signal going through this. Again, we expect it to be amplified, um, and how much we expect it to be amplified depends on what we set as our resistor value. So I'm going to go in here, set resistor one is, I'll set it to one k, and I'll set resistor two to say two k. So what you would expect to happen? Oh, it looks like I didn't set resistor one though. I didn't hit enter. One k enter. Okay, so what you would expect to happen is this output voltage here that we're measuring is twice the amplitude of the input voltage because of this, the R2 over R1 is R gain. Um, and I think that's about it. Now we just need to make sure that we have models selected for all these. So again, I could go to each one and right click and select add model. I'm just selecting everything and right clicking and add model. Okay, and looks like everything is set up pretty well. We have our voltage sources set up ground, 2K, op amp. So you'll see there's a there's an op amp circuit that's called a sub circuit. So that was already defined. You're lucky, you already had this defined for you. Otherwise you could write your own model. So if we go to the model, this is the op amp model um, that is, is already set up for here. Uh, but we don't need to worry about that because it's already done. Okay, so we're pretty much ready. I can run simulate now. And I'm not going to do an op. Well, I can do the transient or I can do operating point. I'm going to do the transient. Um, again, just for a couple seconds here, one to four seconds. Simulate. Okay, very cool. So what we have happening is, right, I can look at my voltage values. And I do see that we are at magnitude of four volts. Additionally, those other two voltage values, uh, four and five are our plus and minus nine volts. So apparently I set that up work, working right. Right, so we see this amplifier amplifying our two volt signal into a uh, four volt signal. Okay, so it worked um, as expected. So this is what you can do, right? This is how you can make this into a, uh, a nice simulator of what's going on with your design. Again, we can make this a filter by adding a capacitor or whatever. You guys will be able to do that in your lab. But I also want to see how we can build this, right? So right now, um, we have these voltage sources which aren't really components. They're not really like physical components. So we want to provide physical components. Um, and so unfortunately, we can't simulate with those physical components in here. So I talked to you before, like the input, maybe we just have a pin where you plug in like a transducer. So I actually have some of those, right? I have these, these pins like this. You could either have a 90 degree one or just a, a vertical one. 
right? I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and do this uh, vertical one, and I want to set it in here. Okay, and uh, maybe I want to do the same thing where I plug my batteries in, right? So I'm going to put a pin over here and a pin over here, right? That's that's where I would plug all these things in. So now the circuit board would have a place to plug in your input signal and a place to plug in your two nine volt batteries to power this thing. And so I just want to connect those. Okay, now what would happen if we try to simulate at this point, it would give us an error because it can't, there's no model for those pins. Um, so that's, that's a little bit painful as far as like having to add them after the fact, but that's just what you have to do. Um, they're just pins and there isn't a model for them. Uh, and so now what we might do is like label these, right? Like if I were, if I were just putting JP2, that's not as useful as maybe if I click on this and instead of give it a name, give it nine volt. Like that would be nine volt battery two. And the same thing up here. And I might even just want to rename my JP1. Oops. To signal or something like that, right? Okay, so now I have my schematic ready to make into a PCB. Again, I just can I can save this number one before I lose it. Uh, so I can save this as my op amp schematic. I can go ahead and switch to PCB document. And what you'll notice is it has all my components. Uh, on here. And so you'll see that it doesn't have those voltage source things because those aren't real components. Those were just for the simulation. And so now I just want to drag where I want to put everything. So I'll, I'll grab my op amp. Okay, it's got all those kind of wires where they would connect. Uh, my R2, R1. Right, and again, this is where you can think about how you want to like organize things. Um, by moving them in the right spots. This battery. Sometimes that that wire gets over top of where the X you're trying to click on. Okay, there we go. Right, and so I'm just laying these out like I would like to have them on the board, right? Like if I wanted to place them and have a place for people to plug in stuff. Uh, and so, you know, at some point, this is where you get into design. How do you want to lay it out? How do you want it to look? Um, but again, we don't need to worry a ton about it right now. This is just a simple circuit. If you were making it and you wanted to solder it together, you would definitely worry about it. Like this is one I'd probably want to rotate just so those lines don't cross, right? something like that. And then I go ahead and do my route. So I can do the auto router. Um, you can let it do top and bottom, I guess, if we wanted. These are all through hole components. So again, I think we're mostly doing NA on the top and we're, we're sticking on the bottom. Okay, and it does all our routing for us. We end job. And again, we are we have built our PCB so I can switch and look at it. View the 3D PCB. And there's our circuit, y'all. Like that's that's pretty cool that we designed it. There's the routing on the bottom. Um, so all we'd have to do is solder in our components and the connections are all made for us. We plug in a couple nine volt batteries, plug it in our signal, and this would totally be a, a working amplifier circuit.